What do you think? I think you need to sign up for a class. Well, I don't know about Dan's class, but the chemistry department has a lot going on with its very own alligator guy, who's made headlines in South America as well as Australia. CNN and National Geographic have told as many stories of his great gator research. And it all started here at McNeese. Our own Dee Myers brings us the story of Mark Merchant. If you're living in southwest Louisiana and have not yet heard of alligator guy Mark Merchant, you might just be living under a rock. Inside McNeese University, Merchant specializes teaching in the field of biochemistry. And in the field, his fascination happens to be with alligators. I basically did roughly 12 years of biochemistry research before I actually got into alligators. This was not my plan. This is just the way it ended up. And then when I decided to apply for the, the biochemistry faculty position here, I knew I had to have a research program that undergraduates and, 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 and master's candidates could approach. And so I had several ideas. And so when I came and gave my job interview, I gave several different ideas of what my research might be. And one of them was the alligator research. And, and, but my other, other one, which was some genetic engineering, which is something I dearly love, and I've done quite a bit of in the past, some genetic engineering, that was my favorite project. And so I was going to take off with that one, and my department head, Dr. Ron Darbo, said, you know, you, you, you should consider that alligator project. And so I said, well, I, I will. And so I, I started tinkering with it, and it really took off, and I never even looked back at that other project. Although Mark grew up in Beaumont, Texas, his bloodline is truly embedded in Cajun roots. My grandma was from uh, Leonville, which is a town about the size of this room. And then my grandfather was from uh, Eunice, and they got married and settled down in Opelousas and settled down in a place called Port Berry. And he was a rice farmer there, and then he moved down there when he's, you know. So my, both my parents were born in Louisiana. I mean, it's, we're, we're Cajun. And, and my grandfather had a place on the bayou there. I grew up at his camp, fishing and hunting on the bayou, so I'm Cajun. If my father had not been adopted, my last name would be, uh, would be uh, Gotro. And my mom's maiden name was Johnson. So add those up. His passion for scientific research and educating in both the lab and the field keeps him quite busy, but he wouldn't have it any other way. I don't work. The, you know, the, the hardest thing is driving over from Texas every day and getting back, because I live a long way from here. I don't work. I, I get to go into the lab and teach and do alligator research. That's not work. Shh, they pay me for it. Don't tell them that. I call Mark Mercurial. He is in constant motion. Um, he's almost doing something. Mark's presence on the campus has brought, I think, an unprecedented amount of spotlight, and this is international spotlight, um, on the chemistry department, on the College of Science, and I think on the university in general. It was a hand of fate, I guess is what you'd call it. There are approximately 100 chemistry students at McNeese University, about 35 study biochemistry, and just a handful of them work with Mark on his alligator antibody projects. But the work done there is on the biological forefront, and with his gator research, Merchant has had far-reaching effects. When I started to do this project, I went to the literature. I wanted to know what was known, so I kept doing Google searches on alligator and immunology, alligator immune system, alligator infection, and it was basically nothing there. So I kept thinking, well, I'm putting in the wrong search terms. Let's use this term. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So I said, yeah, I'll start doing it. And then people around the world started sitting up looking at our research. So this little lab here has been um, the place where we've obtained some pretty, some results that have really kind of shaken the world up. <laughs> He's a good guy. He goes out of his way for all his students and uh, tries to put us in the right direction. And when, when we're not doing the right thing, he lets you know. But that's good. He doesn't, not worried about being politically correct. He's worried about his students' welfare. If you'd like to keep up with Mark's travels, friends, and research, visit his Facebook wall. There are places he's been and videos to view. It doesn't really matter the size of the alligator. Despite their dimensions, these reptilian wonders have taken him on a journey he hasn't regretted for a second. This is Dee Myers with Inside Magnese. You're in low saline, girl. Good job. Now it's going to be really interesting to see.